Nicki Minaj is the victim of two swatting attempts at her Los Angeles home with the intention of getting as many armed police officers to Nicki's. Two swatting attempts were made against Nicki Minaj at her Los Angeles home with the goal of drawing as many armed police officers to her residence as possible. The attacker claimed Nicki was abusing her two-year-old son, and he fired five shots, possibly while intoxicated or with the child in his arm. The attacker wanted to blank the family that had a two-year-old. A few hours later, Nikki Minaj received a second call telling authorities that her house was on fire. When she finally woke up, she found cops surrounded her house and prepared to take her child away. Someone called to report gunshots at her house. Nikki Minaj and her family are being targeted. And fans question who's to blame, so let's get into it. Fans are concerned for rapper Nicki Minaj because she's been in a complicated situation. And it's getting dangerous for her family. And by I complicated, I mean her home was swatted by callers who claim that her two-year-old son is being abused. An anonymous caller had notified Child Services that Nicki's two-year-old son was being abused which led to the sheriff's deputies showing up at her home officials, did speak to Nikki. They spoke to her husband, Kenneth Petty, who has a criminal past. Actually, he is a registered O. We can't really say all those words here on YouTube. Yeah, he has passed. And we've spoken about it before on this channel. But after looking at the child, they decided, you know, there's no sign of a this was a swatting prank. But it's really not much of a prank at all. And the terror continued the family was awakened early the next morning around 3 o'clock a.m. After another bogus call was made reporting a fire at the home. When firefighters arrived, they found no flames. The fire was quickly realized as another swatting prank. So Nikki actually hired a lawyer to figure out who these people people are swatting. Is the act of calling law enforcement or reporting a crime or emergency so large a police response? or even a SWAT team shows up officials have repeatedly warned people not to SWAT as it wastes time and resources. And it put you in a really like high intense situation. It's not cool after being SWATed by some anonymous who staged a call to the police to get as many armed officers to Nikki's house as possible, claiming that she had been abusing her two-year-old son. When the police arrived, they found no evidence of child abuse. And a few hours later, they were called back because the same prankster claimed that Nikki's house was on fire. The public is reminded that swatting can result in persecution in the United States by the authorities, who evidently concluded that this was all a joke. Reports indicate that Nikki Minaj is the most recent in a string of celebrity swatting occurrences following allegations that there was a shooting at her home. Nikki Minaj was the victim of another swatting. When police arrived, Nikki told them she wasn't happy to see sheriff's deputies at her house once more. According to law enforcement, Nikki called and someone claimed someone had been shot at her house. Allegedly, Nikki sent a message to the media stating that she would actually find out who was responsible and hold them accountable. I'm curious to find out who is harassing Queen Nikki Minaj. After receiving two swatting attempts at her Los Angeles residence, Nikki Minaj apparently wants to know who is to blame. Cops were called to Minaj's residence earlier this month at approximately 6 p.m. in response to a claim that Nikki's three-year-old son was being assaulted. After assessing the youngster and concluding that he was safe, the cops departed. However, a second call was placed at approximately 3 o'clock a.m., since making a false 911 call is illegal and can result in felony charges. Nikki Minaj appears to want her lawyer to look into and pursue legal action against the perpetrators. As I mentioned earlier, many celebrities have been swatted, including Miley Cyrus and Justin Bieber. Minaj and her family were woken up after a fire was reported at her home, but firefighters arrived and discovered no flame. Chris Thomas Jenner, Chris Paris Hilton, so this is pretty standard, unfortunately. But there's someone who is actively trying to target Nikki. For some reason, part of me 
does believe that there's someone actively going after her. Because of her husband, actually at one point, there was a fake petition that was created online, claiming that neighbors wanted her and husband booted from their land neighborhood, with more than 900 people who signed it one of the reasons why this petition went up is because Nikki's husband, Mr. Petty, is currently serving one year of house detention or failing to register as a sex offender in California. The petition literally says, say no to SOS in Hidden Hills. So they put a picture of him up there. They outline everything he has done, which we've talked about this in a previous video. He was, I believe, charged with um, our wording someone when he was like 15 or 16 or very young but still the charges are there, and he has. To register every year, it looks like Nikki Minot's neighbors are trying to kick her husband out of her home in Hidden Hills. There's his position going around to kick Nikki Minot's husband, Kenneth, out of the community. If you did not know, he is a registered sex offender, and he has spent time in jail for and first degree manslaughter. Now her neighbors say that they do not feel safe living in the same neighborhood as a felon, especially those with kids, because he is a sex offender. Now I can see where the neighbors are coming from, however. I do kind of feel for Nikki, because it's going to be hard to uproot your kid and move houses if they end up kicking you out of the neighborhood. Not that paying for new house would be an issue, but moving and all that is it is a struggle no matter how rich you are now. I find this interesting because there is a theory that suggests that supporters of Cardi B are behind the petition. At one point, someone printed flyers and planned to hang them up in the neighborhood, detailing his crimes and requesting signatures. I don't know, though. I know that Cardi and Nikki have a long-standing feud. We can discuss that in a different video. If this is the case, though, this is really scary because, as I mentioned earlier, Nikki has been determined to identify this person, and it turns out that they have issued a warrant for Stephanie Bell. I'm not sure if Stephanie is working alone, but she is connected to some of these calls, so what does Stephanie want? On social media on Wednesday, the rapper criticized Stephanie Bell, the person Nikki claims is making swatting calls to her valley home. I'm glad to see some responsibility. I'm not sure if it's safe for Nikki to list her out by name, but she felt comfortable doing so. So I guess this woman is now going to be arrested for these crimes, which she should. This is the woman who has been making swatting calls against Nikki Minich. In the caption, Nikki explains that her home was surrounded by large weapons twice. She claims that this person wanted a family with a two-year-old to be blanked at yet nothing on any blog. Nikki Minaj is calling out blogs that only choose to post negative stories about her. She also shared the picture of the woman who made swatting calls against her, as well as part of the audio from one of those calls. Here is the audio clip that Nikki posted on Community. You can pause to read the rest of the caption. He appears to be intoxicated, and he fired five shots with a shotgun. She keeps telling him to put the child down. She may be trying to talk him out of it, but he doesn't seem to be listening. Nikki posted this to her Instagram story as well. Take a moment to read these messages as well. To be clear, she is not advising anyone to go swat someone's home. It is quite unsettling to consider that this woman would feel at ease, fabricating a story about them fighting before carrying it out. What is her motivation, then? Law enforcement sources confirm that Stephanie is being charged with two counts of fabricating an emergency. Despite Stephanie's alleged arrest, Nikki Minaj is allegedly calling out other music industry professionals, labeling them as snitches, and possibly implying that Cardi B may be involved in this, as Nikki wrote twice. Large firearms were all around my house. This guy threatened to shoot a family with a two-year-old after making threats with his cronies in the morning. Kenneth Petty, A.K., Nikki Minita's husband, Aka Big Zoo, uh, has just been put on house arrest for about 120 days, and she also talked about somebody calling the cops, which I think she's alluding to what's going on with her husband, and now him having house arrest. 
but it's like bro we posted it online. Like I don't think anyone needed to call the cops. And she also keeps putting this like hashtag of protect black women sometimes, so I'm not really sure how this is all going to play a part of this. And obviously the main culprit of who everyone thinks it is, is Cardi be like, did Cardi